Welcome boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to announce new video today. I'm gonna be showing you 22 super cool tweaks that I've tested recently and I really enjoyed doing that. So let's begin. The first tweak I'm gonna show you is called battery percent 13. Battery percent 13 does the same thing as many battery percentage tweaks out there that we've seen so far. It just adds the percent of battery in your in your top right corner right there is not nothing much to it and uh what i like about this tweak is the very fact that there is no settings you just install it very small tweak few kilobytes and then it's you are good to go so that's battery percent 13. next tweak is called cc ringer 13. now i love this tweak why it's free tweak it's very nice tweak and it finally gives me the option so I, that, that I know which volume is to the maximum, which is not. Whether it's ringer volume, you know, when, you're, when your phone rings, or your media volume when you play the music or you play videos. So when you install CC Ringer 13, you press, you hold and press on the volume and you get these two things. So this is the media volume, you can drop it down and turn it to the maximum. And this is, as you can see, this is the ringer volume. So you can separate these two things and know which one is set to maximum, which one is not. Mister is another cool tweak, which again, very small tweak, but very useful and very, very neat. So if I want to deinstall an application, you know, you usually get this, uh, ho uh, the whole screen is covered with a notification, whether you want to do it, you want to confirm or you want to cancel. Now you, what you can see here, we don't have the cancel button. So uh, Dismisser dismisses any message across your screen just by typing anywhere on the screen. So even notifications are dismissed in the same in the same way. Let's try it again. So you see there is no cancel, just delete, and you can just tap anywhere to dismiss. Next one is DocX. DocX actually makes your uh, keyboard more useful uh, in your uh, when you invoke the keyboard when you want to type the message. So instead of having this empty or when you use bar emoji which i do very often you have emojis here but if you don't you can have these uh, copy paste uh, cut undo redo functions or uh, always on so it's easier for you to it's easier for you to manipulate through keyboard so this is doc x one has an evil name it's called evil scheme now evil scheme what does this tweak do this tweak enables different sort of uh, putting different apps to be your default apps in contrast to what Apple wants you to have. So, for example, for uh, mapping, uh, I've just uh, mapped one application to this. So my default uh, app for maps. So I want Google Maps to be open anywhere I uh, anywhere I click on the link for the maps. I don't need uh, Apple Maps. I don't like them. They don't work well. Uh, the evil scheme tweak just works like this. You just add new and then you can select whether you want, uh, oops, sorry, let me go back. So you just select which default mail client you want to have, which default maps, uh, package manager, uh, Reddit clients or web browser. So you can select each one of these, you install them and they will be opened immediately once you send an email or you open a link to a map. You know, when you open an Instagram app and uh, you want to do the search here, you want to click here on this uh, little button to do the search and it instantly brings you to, you know, suggestions, who to follow, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to type on the top to invoke the search. Now with Insta search too, you click here and sorry, and immediately you are brought to the search option. So there is no hassle of going through those uh, promoted accounts or something you should follow, but instantly you go to search. Cool small tweak for messages uh, is message swap. The message swap just brings you this. So instead of having the Apple uh, App Store logo and then you invoke later on your, your photos if you want to share, you immediately have the photo uh, icon here in messages for easy access. So this is all this tweak does message swap maybe so far you've noticed the color of my dock as you can see it has nice gradient greenish color that matches my wallpaper this is thanks to the tweak called nawal nawal tweak gives you this option that you can add gradient to your to your dock and you can select which colors you want to go to which color 
and here you can see a nice preview. What is very nice feature is that you can use wallpaper color. So whichever wallpaper you have installed, you just get, click get colors and it will uh, recognize the colors and give you the matching two colors for your, for your wallpaper. You can also have the corner radius set up or the border of your, of your dock, which I did not change. So this is a very cool tweak, Naval. The next tweak is called no clutter. No clutter tweak removes the clutter from entire device. So you can choose which one to hide, like home bar, breadcrumbs, scroll bar, separate lines, uh, battery, VPN. Uh, you can hide the uh, page dots, which I did, update dots, which is also very, very useful, dock background, uh, etc., etc. So you have a ton of feature here that you can hide. So the only thing that this tweak does hides everything you hate on your device. No clutter. Second tweak. I need to show it in action. And this is the tweak very good for us who do the respringing a lot. It's called no pass after respring. So once you respring your device, you don't have to uh, input your pass or you don't have to do the voice recognition thing, right? So let me show it. So immediately when I do the uh, respring thing, give it a second, see, it automatically goes to your home screen, which is very useful for me. I do the respringing quite, quite often. Following tweak uh, borrows the features and the looks from Android. So if you don't like Android, skip this tweak. So this is Nougat tweak, and it gives you the option to have your control center looking like this, or these controls from up there, which I have to admit, I like, I like it. I'm not a very big fan of Android, on the contrary, but this tweak is pretty, pretty neat. And you invoke the tweak from the middle of your screen. So you still have your you can still have your uh, control center, like a traditional one, but you can also have it here as a separate, separate option. So you can set up these toggles to work in different ways. So this is Nougat. The next one is percent notify. So you can set up your custom alerts for your battery percentage. For example, I've set it up that I want to get a notification once my uh, phone battery reaches 50%. So you can have it as alert on the uh, whole screen, or you can have it as a regular push notification. So this is, uh, I like the tweak. And also you can set up your uh, push notifications or alerts for your AirPods. So you can have it light, uh, left or right battery uh, alert, and also for your AirPod case battery alert, which is a nice feature. The next tweak is called the photo info. So the photo info tweak, you don't have the, you don't you don't have the settings for it. So when you go to your to your photos in your photos app, the only thing this tweak does it gives you this uh, information about the resolution and about the space used on your phone. So this is four thousand times three thousand resolution, one point forty three megabytes of space. So if you guys want to have this information, this is the tweak for you. Photo info. Next week is very useful for us jailbreakers, Sentinel. Sentinel tweak doesn't have too many, uh, too many settings to configure, but you set up a custom percentage where you want to start your fake shutdown. What does it mean? When you reach certain percentage, I put it at 3% of my battery, my phone will act as if it is shutting down to prevent battery usage so that I can reach my home and plug it to charger and so I don't, uh, so I don't have to re-jailbreak my, my device. So this is the only thing Tweak does. It invokes fake shutdown that disables all notifications or alarms, uh, home screen things, everything is disabled and it's, it's similar to Apple Watch when you reach certain percentage, it just shows you, shows you the time. So this is Sentinel. The next tweak is Shadow Tweak. I did not install it because I don't need it currently, but this tweak uh, bypasses the jailbreak detection. So I'm just showing it because there are many of these, but some of these tweaks, sometimes they work on certain apps, sometimes they don't. So I'm just giving you an option that you can try shadow tweak for the from the mentioned repo. Although it, does, it, it says here that it's not working on iOS 13, when you search for it and when you have this tweak compatible installed, you can see that this tweak actually works on 13, iOS 13. So you can try it unless maybe uh, in case the uh, tweaks like Liberty Light or uh, Tweaks Manager do not, do not do the job for you. I have to say big thanks to the, to the developer of Springtomize 5, 
the guy was kind enough to, to borrow the tweak to me, to test it and to show it to you guys. Of course, I'm the all time jailbreaker. I've been jailbreaking my device from 2009 and Springtomize was one of the ultimate tweaks you had to have on your device. So Springtomize 5 is no different. So Springtomize 5, similar to the Lynx uh, tweak, which I've shown in my previous videos, it gives you all sorts of customizations. As you can see, you probably noticed so far that I have five columns on my springboard instead of four. And I have more rows on my springboard instead of uh, traditional six, I have seven rows here. And also my dock is customized, so it has this cover flow effect uh, here. It's all thanks to, thanks to uh, Spring to My Tweak. The f also another option which I really like about this tweak is the option to give you animation when you lock your, your device. So when I do this, you see there is like old TV, old TV uh, animation. I love this animation. So Spring to My Tweak offers tons of customizations in the settings. You can customize animations, you can customize the speed of animations, uh, lock animation, which I just showed you. You can customize the uh, app switcher, you can have it. So you have all possible customizations in single tweak. So Spring to Mice 5 might be five bucks, ladies and gentlemen, but it's worth every penny. Now I've compared links to Spring to Mice and I have, I'm leaning towards Spring to Mice tweak because for me, it's a familiar environment. I used to have it I, I, I was using it since the first version and this one is much updated and it works very smoothly and I highly recommend Spring to My 5. Next one is Stop Crashing Please. So this tweak again is for those people that uh, fall under one uh, category of people who either did not update to the latest uncovered jailbreak or and they might have some issues when you wake up in the middle of the night and in the morning and you see that you lost your jailbreak due to some uh, sudden, uh, I don't know, uh, clash of tweaks or some demons start, uh, stopped working, uh, whatnot. So Stop Crashing Please actually uh, gives, actually recognizes the demons that you have from some tweaks installed and it puts them in the safe mode and which enables or uh, disables the uh, your device from keep uh, from uh, respringing or rebooting uh, on its own. So as I said, I did not install it because I have no issues with uncovered jailbreak. I've installed the last one, the latest one. But for those of you who has uh, the previous uncovered jailbreak and have the issues with uh, respringing, rebooting uh, too often, install this tweak and let me know whether this tweak helped. I'm sure few of you maybe remember those phones when we were tapping, you know, like T9 keyboards, remember that? So this is the tweak that actually enables this functionality on the iPhone. It's called T9 Dialer. T9 Dialer, when, when you uh, start typing, for example, I don't know, I'm gonna type here, and you immediately get the uh, phone number of the persons that you wish to call, right? So these these uh, phone numbers and you can immediately dial them which one to dial etc etc so this is very nice very nice tweak and it also gives you the option to put the dialer a little bit down so the settings of the tweak are pretty straightforward right so you can this is what i did you can move the number field up haptic feedback search phone numbers you can also you know uh, disable this but for those of you who like these kind of things T9 dialer is great tweak. If you are the heavy user of TikTok, which I'm not, by the way, and but if you like using TikTok, uh, you can have the uh, tweak TikTok God. TikTok God gives you the option to download this video without any watermark. You can also have this option whether you're not interested or, or whatever. So the settings of the tweak are pretty straightforward. It gives you the option for un unlimited downloads, for not having the ads, autoplay next video, download without watermark, change your region to some other country if you prefer to, etc., etc. So this is TikTok God. One is Waterman, Waterman. I don't know how you, how you pronounce it. So this tweak uh, plays a little bit with your wallpapers. So you can have separate different wallpapers every day if you like, and you can have separate different wallpapers for morning, for afternoon, evening, and night. So all this, or you can have them randomly. So you go for the morning schedule and you see what are the options. You can select what time 
should the phone change the wallpaper for you and you can select the source whether it's unsplash automatic collection bing reddit hot etc there are a few few uh, sources maybe they will increase the number of sources here so what you do you just you, uh, let's see there is an option to force morning wallpaper so i have this wallpaper green one that you already saw but when i do this uh it should drag a new wallpaper from unsplash daily and change my wallpaper on both uh, home screen and lock screen okay it hasn't changed yet maybe it's downloading i don't know i don't know what let's let's try it again so i can click force morning wallpaper update now yes now it's changed see i get a notification that it's changed and you can see that my wallpaper has changed Right, so this is like some randomly selected uh, wallpaper which fits, I don't know, the selection I made which is uh, sunshine, sunrise, whatnot. So this is a very cool tweak if you like to wake up with new wallpapers every day. Tweak is pretty amazing and I also want to give big shout out to the developer who, who shared this tweak with me. It's called Yoboon Pro. Now you have the free version as well, Yoboon, which uh, adds the option for you to uh, restart or have respringing your device you get a little little knob here little uh, button for your boon regular your boon but for your boon pro what you need to do you swipe up with two fingers on your springboard to do what to get this right so you get these options for fast respring respring restart safe mode clear cache uh, device info, CPU, RAM info, etc., etc. So you can really have fun with it, and you can show it to your friends. It's kind of nice. Kind of night, nice. I like this uh, animation. So it's really, really nice tweak. To be honest, I was a, a little bit skeptical, but when I tried it, I've seen that it is great tweak. The last tweak for today is called YouTube Reborn. Again, another tweak which gives you the option to customize your YouTube experience and to get the YouTube premium experience for free. So you can have this, uh, uh, you ha have many options. You can remove the ads, uh, you can enable background play playback, which is why many people use Circube and similar tweaks in their, uh, in their jailbroken phones. Uh, you can, I don't know, no notification button, no cast button, no comment section, whatever. So you can really, really have fun, go crazy with this tweak on YouTube. So if you prefer a free tweak, which is working very nicely, I suggest YouTube Reborn. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed my, my videos. I'm putting the links in the comment section, in the this, uh, detail section below. You can comment, please comment, please ask me questions, please send me emails or tweets so we can discuss the tweaks. Uh, show me some tweaks which you would like to see in some of my uh, future videos. I would be delighted to show them. I'm testing the, the tweaks every day, but you know, you don't have, there are too many tweaks and I'm only one guy. So I count on your help to uh, increase and to make this channel even more popular so we can create our own iGeek community. Enjoy the day and peace.